in. Woo! Stop rolling. There we go. Look here, Michelle. Look over here, Michelle. Look over here, yeah. Watch the camera as well. Woo! Excellent. Give us a cheer, Michelle. So ladies and gentlemen, what we're witness here tonight is also the first Australian female to row solo across the Atlantic Ocean. So Michelle, you started your journey December 12th from La Gomera. You are now here in Antigua after 68 days, 12 hours and 49 minutes. Thank you. Well Thank you so much. How are you feeling, Shall Michelle? You. Yeah, I'm feeling um, really relieved. I'm, I'm really happy to be on land. And um, yeah, I've never gone through so many emotions in my life, you know. Isolation has been overwhelmed. There's been joy. There's been in awe of so many things. Um, there's been anxious, nervous. Oh, I tell you what, I've gone through the lot from, you know, extremes. So. Yeah, it's good. I just want to feel safe again. I kept saying that to myself. After day 46, I just wanted to feel safe because I said to myself, it started to really hit home that you're doing something a little bit bigger than run around your neighborhood naked. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's when I started to just say, I just want to get there now. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. So what was your most significant moment? If you can name one moment, what was it? Oh, most significant, sugar. Um, being able to fix stuff. I had to mend stuff on my boat and think quickly on the spot. So, you know, at the time it was horrendously frightening, but um, yeah, really triumphant at the end of it. Go girl. Great, good job. <laughs> what about your biggest challenge then? 
Although that sounds a little bit challenging. Yeah, they were challenging. Um, I had water maker issue. I had my uh, foot steering issue. I had to pull it apart and, and sort of rebuild it and sick of flex it and uh, whatnot. Um, makeshift out of a couple of things. I had to make some scupper covers on my boat uh, as well because my uh, autopilot was getting flooded. So little things like that. Um, it's the wildlife, I think, you know, the dolphins. I had like full on dolphin armies. I had whale armies come through. Um, the birds, the bird life, unbelievable every day. So yeah, so many things. So you said that you can't wait to see what you're made of. What are you made of, Michelle? <laughs> I'm stubborn and determination, grit and integrity. To integrity for me is to finish what you start and to do what you say you'll do. And so you certainly did that. They're, they're the big things for me. Okay, what about, you've been involved in the Talisker Whiskey Atlantic Challenge. Tell us what that experience was like for you. Uh, I've learned so much from you know building a boat from scratch um, to even just all the courses that we've had to complete in order to uh, do this race as well. So, you know, our, um, what did we do? Sea survival, we <laughs> did navigation, <laughs> epic fail. <laughs> um, she says as the health and safety officer is watching. <laughs> and, um, but, you know, and also just the interaction and communication with these guys, with the Atlantic Campaign guys and the whole team. So, you know, they say for a CEO, uh, make yourself look good by employing really good staff. Well, you've done that because they're freaking awesome. They're so supportive and um, yeah, and I just love the whole, you know, the fundamentals that it has set me up for now. If I want to go and row in an ocean independently, I can, um, because I've had to tick so many boxes to get here and to do it safely, so yeah. What's your takeaway from this experience? Start thinking you can and you will. It's that simple. That's what this all started from. I read a book called Rowing the Atlantic and um, I was plagued by that notion to row the ocean for two whole years until eventually I thought I would rather do it than die wondering. So don't die wondering and start thinking you can and you will. That's it. Does that mean you're going to do it again? Um, I just said to Claudine, do not let me ever do this again without you. I would do it again. I would do it again, but certainly not solo. So if I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't go solo. <laughs> Naive it is, my best friend. So that's it. You're involved. No. <laughs> if I look like that when I finish, I might. <laughs> yeah, you look absolutely fantastic, Michelle. I can't believe how strong you were to come in in what we saw out there with you. Well done. Welcome to Antigua. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody.